the New Amsterdam Technical Institute held its 2015-2016 orientation ceremony earlier today. Details in this report. Earlier today, the New Amsterdam Technical Institute, NATI, hosted an orientation ceremony for students enrolled for the academic year 2015-2016. The ceremony was chaired by Ms. Fiona Rasul, lecturer in the business department, and all present were welcomed by Mr. Devon Thomas, lecturer. Today is indeed a blessed day. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. To our new students, this day is about you. For you have come here today, leaving the comfort of your homes to become something in your lives. I am sure you are excited. When you were getting ready this morning, you felt a tingling in your stomach. What would the school be like? What would the teachers be? Who are my new classmates? There is so much to be curious about. I call this excitement, the sparks within you that makes you feel truly alive today. The principal and staff of New Amsterdam Technical Institute are extremely pleased that you have decided to embark on a career in technical education. Our motto says, knowledge through labor. I can assure you that throughout your training here at NATI, you will not only acquire the requisite knowledge, but also the skills and the right attitude to make yourselves worthwhile citizens. I welcome you again to the most wonderful days of your lives. Today marks the beginning of a journey that is bound to be rewarding, memorable, and prosperous. Deputy Principal Acting Mr. Vishnu Prasad introduced the members of staff and the members of the institution's board. Acting Principal Ms. Maxine Thompson, in her remarks, said, A warm welcome to Nati's orientation ceremony for the class of 2017. Having said that, may I also seek to clear the air. Some of my staff have been approaching me and they're asking, Miss, Miss, what's going on? I still see acting next to your portfolio. This is simply because there is a legal matter which the Guyana Teachers Union has pending with the Ministry of Education. And by virtue of that legal matter, all senior appointments have been put on hold until that matter has been resolved. So that explains why they said I was introduced as acting and they still the name the, the, the word the letters A G next to my name. Alright, so having said that publicly please just bear with the legal matter with the ministry until such time when we'll have that matter resolved. I'll continue being the acting individual. Alright? Folks who are sitting there, you may, you, you may be questioning what's going on. I should have been introduced as the principal of NATI. And that explains why I gave my staff that explanation also. Nevertheless, I am particularly heartened with the overwhelming response that was received from stakeholders, that is the members of the community, parents, and uh, most of all, the students. During the olden days, it was believed that once students were in school, or once students were in the school system, their formal educational achievements were the sole responsibility of the school. And more precisely, teachers. Parents, you should understand what I'm saying here. You send your child to school and Miss or Sir will try with that child. That's Miss or Sir has responsibility of your child. However, during the 1980s and 1990s, there was an attempt by educational institutions to restructure the education system and to move from a centralized system to a decentralized one. Instead of having education solely controlled by a professional group of educators, the idea was to promote involvement of traditionally less powerful stakeholders, such as parents and other members of the community. That explains your presence, parents, as well as the business community, private individuals, pastors, etc. Joyce Epstein, in her writing, posits, and I quote, there are many reasons for developing school 
family and community partnership. They can improve school programs and school climate, provide family services and support, increase parent skills and leadership. End of quote. And that was posited in the year 1994. Interaction also connects families with others in the school and the community and helps them with their work. However, the main reason is to create partnership to help students to succeed in school and in life. The board chairman's remarks were delivered by Ms. Eileen James on behalf of Mr. David Armagon, who was unavoidably absent. It's very heartening to see so many parents here today. You can't imagine how pleased I am, and I'm sure the board is pleased too, because the involvement of parents cannot be overemphasized. It is a stage in your children's lives where hormones are everywhere. This is a stage where many decisions will be, make, will be made. And so I urge you to continue, and I hope that this will not be just the first day of school where a lot of parents come out, but I urge you to continue to be a part of your children's education. Unlike the lower educations, like the primary, the secondary, and the nursery school where you have parent teachers association, where you have meetings and so, that will not be held here. However, there are different forms where you could come and keep a tab of your children's performance. They have open day, and you are invited any day to come in, but preferably Friday is a good day. That's not to say you can't come any other day, but Fridays is a good day to come into school, have a chat with the, peer, the teachers, have a chat even with your children in front of the teachers, the lecturers, and just to find out what's happening. Has my child been in school? You know, just a rapport. I ask you and I urge you to maintain that. It's very, very important. Short addresses were also delivered by Ms. Marcel Brown of Citizens Bank, New Amsterdam, Mr. Mohamed Mursalin of Port Moran Training Center, and Mr. Stephen Bihari, Occupational Safety and Health Coordinator. The first year students toured the institution facilities after the formal ceremony.